So now what we're going to be doing is plotting points on an xy axis. So like if I was to graph 5, 12, there's that point. What they want is they want to know what is the degree measure if I drew a triangle, okay? So if I'm going to draw the triangle, I always start from 0, 0. Now, I'm going to draw, so some of you go, well, do I go up and over and make the triangle like that? Do I go over and up and make the triangle like that? I mean, I remember slope is rise over run, but this isn't slope. Now, remember what we talked about on the previous page, and I said that was going to be huge. What's huge? The reference angle. So that means it's all got to be based on the x-axis. So if I have a point here, and I have a point here, how can I make a triangle to include that 5 value right here? I make it like that. And let me make it a little bit. But it's not a triangle until I find the third side. So then I go, oh, well, shoot, I don't know. How long is it from here to here? Well, that means the distance from here to here is 5. So let me erase that. And if this is vertically, the distance from here to here is 12. We know it's a right angle, so we can do the Pythagorean theorem and find the third side. Okay? Um, before we do that, though, I want to remind you of a few special triangles that will be good to memorize. The 3, 4, 5. I think the one we saw before was a 7, 24, 7, or 25. Do you have to memorize it? No. But it makes it easier because then if you know the third side, then you won't have to do the Pythagorean theorem. Another one is a 9, 40, 41. And another one is a 5, 12, 13. So... Since I know it is a 5, 12, 13, I don't have to do the Pythagorean theorem, okay? So what is it we're trying to find? Remember when we graphed something in standard position, when we were graphing it up here, we started from here and we drew it, we drew it, we drew it, we drew it. What they're asking for is if I draw that third side, what's the measure of this angle right here? So then let me expand the triangle, make it bigger. This was 5, this was 12, this was 13. They're asking for the value here. That means this will be your theta. So they want you to use the six trigonometric functions. Um, right now we're just going to do the three, okay? So I'm going to go sine of theta equals, cosine of theta equals, tan of theta equals, okay? Now, remember when we found theta? We do it based on that. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Tan is opposite over adjacent. So remember on the first lesson, I'm not sure if you remember, to get theta, we did the inverse. But then when we found cosine, we found a different answer. So we're going to talk about that and what, um, why that happened right now. So if I was going to find the value of theta, I would come over here with my calculator, with Desmos. Make sure you're in what mode? Of course, degree. Okay, so I'm going to go inverse sine of 12 thirteenths. Now, technically, what should happen is if I'm doing inverse cosine of 12, oops, it wouldn't be 12 thirteenths, it'd be 5 thirteenths. Okay, and then inverse tan of 12 fifths. Okay, ooh, why did they all end up a little bit different? Oops, because it's not 5 twelfths, it's 5 thirteenths, something you probably caught. Okay, so let's make that 13. Too many numbers. So if you look, whether I do inverse sine, 67. Inverse cosine, 67. Inverse tan, 67, okay? So that means I'll choose inverse sine to show my work because I felt like it. Theta equals 67.4 degrees. That's rounding to the nearest tenth, okay? So we're using a little bit about what we learned previously. We're learning about standard position, um, the completing the triangles, each one of the lessons built up to this one right here, okay? So hopefully that made a little bit of sense. I'm going to step it up a little bit. So I'm going to come over here, 
and I'm going to graph negative 3, 6. Zoom in. I would go left 3, down 6. So the point is right there. Now I have to make a triangle. How do I know how to make this triangle? So let me go. That's negative 3. That's negative 6. Not drawn to scale. It'll be okay. Now everything is based on the reference angle. Where do we start? In the center. So if I'm going to draw my triangle, I need to go like this. And then like this, and then like that, all across to the x-axis. Which means, what is the distance from here to here? Um, 3, but I want to remember it's negative for writing so kind of, uh, sine, cosine, and tan. And the distance from here to here is 6. So that means I need to do the Pythagorean theorem. Well, I'm going to draw my triangle accordingly so that it, it matches up. So that's 3, that's 6, I need to figure out what that is. Well, I don't have any special triangles. Shoot. Oh, but I remember from the first page that sometimes my life can be easier if I can simplify first. So I'm going to try doing that. Oops, where did I go? So I see that I can take the 3 and the 6, and I can divide by 3. So that's 1, and that's 2. Now when I do the Pythagorean theorem, it's a lot smaller. 1 squared plus 2 squared equals c squared, rad 5. So that means that this is rad 5. Okay, that's what I'm going to focus on, my rad 5, my simplified answers, my 1 and my 2. Now, is that really the length of the hypotenuse? No. The length is, since I divided by 3, I'm going to multiply by 3, is 3 rad 5. Okay, so now I have to figure out, well, what am I actually trying to find? Well, remember, we want to find something in standard position. When we have it in standard position, we start from here. And what's the only one that goes is this. So really, I'm trying to find the measure from here to here. Now, that means I have a little hint. I know 0, 90, 180, 270. My answer is going to be somewhere between 180 and 270. Good to know, okay? I also know that if I'm going to be doing this, that um, this is my theta right here. So let me go sine theta equals, cosine theta equals, tan theta equals. Okay, so I've kind of made a mess, but I'm going to redraw this triangle again because I've gotten so messy. This was negative 3. This was negative 6. I'm trying to find this, so that's my theta. And then, well, it wasn't negative 3 and negative 6. It was actually negative 1, simplified, negative 2. And this, this uh, hypotenuse will always be positive, okay? Hypotenuse is always positive. So then if I'm focused on theta, I bet some of you are like, I'm so lost. Please attend my Zooms this week. Please, please, please. Sine is opposite over um, hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And tan is opposite over adjacent. All of them can be simplified. Rad 5, rad 5. If you're struggling on what I did, please ask me by sending me a text in the Zoom. Okay. So now what I'm going to do in my calculator is do inverse sine of this, inverse cosine of this, and inverse tan of this. Give me a second to do that, and then I'll be back. So in my calculator, I was too lazy to write negative 2 rad 5 over 5, so I just put this in my calculator. But for simplifying sake, I need to get this to show work. So I did sine of negative 2 rad 5. Wait, negative 63. What? This one says 116, and this one says 63. Okay, I got a problem here, because here's my problem. The first one says negative 63. Well, negative 63 is somewhere over here. That's not even in the right quadrant. Hold on, I got a sneeze, sorry. So the calculator didn't tell me the right answer. And then inverse cosine is 116. Well, 116 is somewhere over here between 90 and 180. So this told me 116, I'll say 0.6. That's not right. That one told me negative 63.4 degrees. That's not right. And then when I did inverse tan, it told me 63. So the calculator didn't even tell me that it was in the right position. Calculators are only as good as the human that creates them.
So it doesn't realize that it's actually in this quadrant, which by the way, this is quadrant four, three, two, and one. So they told me it was in quadrant four. No, it's not. They told me it in quadrant one. No, it's not. They told me it's in quadrant two. No, it's not. So how am I going to get the answer? Well, if you look, the distance from here to here is 63 degrees. The distance from here to here is 63 degrees. And 180 minus 116 is 63 degrees. So if I use the 63 degrees, which is my reference angle, I can use that to get my answer. So that means it's not only 180 degrees, but it's 180 degrees plus that's 63.43, okay? So I'm gonna show my little work here and show that it's actually 180 degrees plus that 63.4, 180 plus 63.4 is 243.4, okay? Sometimes your calculator is gonna tell you the right answer. And I will hint, hint, nudge, nudge. If it's positive, it's always gonna tell you it's in the first quadrant. One, two, three, four. And if it's in the first quadrant, you're good to go. But if did you notice how the positive answer gave you 63.43, which was in the first quadrant, again, you're gonna to attend to Zoom, it's gonna make it a lot easier, blah, 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 okay? So I'm actually gonna do these next two on the next two videos because this is a long one.